How's it going? My name is Ernie Spicer. I've been on this particular dome probably going on three months now, since August. This has been a labor of love. I mean, of all the copper work and stuff I've done, this has definitely been the most challenging. I mean, I've been doing this for about 10 years now, 10, 11 years. This dome is definitely my magnum opus. You know, this has definitely been the culmination of all my skills over these past 10, 11 years, and it's come out beautiful, but you definitely gotta know what you're doing when you're doing this stuff. The copper, she's so easy to work with, but she'll, uh, she'll turn on you real quick if you don't know what you're doing. You gotta be real gentle with her and be nice, you know, almost like you're talking to a woman. When I started this job, it was very daunting looking up here with all the scaffolding and this thing was bare and you try to imagine how this thing comes out, you know, in the future and it's just very hard to see the finished product but once you start getting some pieces on and, you know, blood, sweat, tears start working into it, you start realizing how good it's coming out. It's been nice being out here, you know, every day. A lot of people don't like being outside or working manual labor jobs but, you know, every day I got the sunshine, it's beautiful weather out here, I get a beautiful view of downtown St. Pete, it's a nice breeze. The people here at the church are very warm and welcoming. They like to feed me a lot. I'm really hoping once this job finishes here in the next few weeks, I can just stand back and look at it, you know? I'm very proud of this. I'm very proud of this job and I'm proud of all the time and effort that went into it. Because it looks like a very finished piece, but a lot of people don't see all the hard work and all the days up here, you know, you're, you want to throw a hammer at stuff just because something's not working right, but you buckle down and you kind of just fight your way through. I think I like this aspect of it. It took me a while to get away from the uh, rough construction side of it all into the more artistic side, and I think I found my niche. You know, I love doing this. I love being out here. I love everything that comes with it. You know, and I think you got to love what you do to make something that's nice and beautiful.